so this is Emir Demirel. Um, I'm doing PhD at Center for Digital Music uh, in Queen Mary University of London, working in a team with Professor Simon Dixon and Doremir Music Research AB from Sweden. My research focuses on automatic lyrics transcription from monophonic recordings, as you see, uh, which I'll be talking about in the next few minutes. So here's the content. I will first introduce the concept of lyrics transcription and go through the basics of it. Then I will go through my own contributions in this field. Then we will conclude with final remarks. So automatic lyrics transcription uh, is the process of recognizing words and phonemes from singing voice signals. So but basically it can be perceived as speech recognition from musical uh, performances, musical, musical recordings. But even the strongest um, speech recognizers um, fail to uh, have a robust performance when it comes to singing. For instance, uh, in this slide you see, um, what you see in the blue box is what YouTube's own recognizer recognizes um, from this singing voice performance. However, uh, in, below you see the original lyrics. So um, there's uh, definitely a room for improvement there. Uh, considering the domain specific properties of singing compared to speech. So our research uh, tries to tackle this and you know, solve this problem and bridge the gap between speech recognition and lyrics transcription. Uh, to give, it, give a little bit context, I'd like to uh, briefly mention the basics of speech recognition systems. So the equation you see on the right hand side is the, is the main equation of speech recognition, which uh, means uh, finding the most probable word sequence given the acoustic observation, such as X. Um, speech traditional speech recognition systems have three major components. The first one is the acoustic model. And the probability you see in the red box on the right hand side uh, models that, uh, which tells us uh, what is the likelihood of observing such an acoustic uh, instance, knowing that it belongs to a certain word sequence. And then we have the language model, which is the PW here, uh, which uh, tells us what is the probability, what is the likelihood of a word occurring in a, in a word sequence or in a sentence. And this probability is statistically obtained through Ngram language models, which is trained, which is generally trained on a text corpus. In the context of lyrics transcription, since we are interested in lyrics, uh, literally, which we, we uh, curate our text corpus from song lyrics only. And finally, we have the pronunciation model. In speech recognition, words are consider considered to be consisting of phonemes, which are the basic sonic unit of speech. The mapping between phoneme sequences and words are defined by a phonetic lexicon, which usually um, has a form, as you see on the left-hand side. Note that, um, by, um, by vectorizing uh, phoneme sequences for a certain word, we make um, alternative pronunciations of a word possible. So these are the basics. And now, now I'd like to uh, move on with our own contributions in lyrics transcription. In our latest work, we have focused on constructing a strong acoustic model for lyrics transcription. We have presented the neural network architecture, the novel neural network architecture that you can see on the right. The main component of this neural network architecture is the time delay layers that you can see. Uh, it, it is noted as TDN and F in the middle, which are basically 1D dilated convolution operations over time. And they uh, are proven to perform uh, well and model well, model the long-term context dependency as well. And uh, as opposed to RNNs, uh, they are paralyzable, so it's computationally less expensive. However, they still suffer from dimensionality. For this reason, we have added to, to provide compact and more robust features for this time delay layers. We have added six layers of 2D convolution layers in the backend with uh, subsam uh, subsampling after each layer after every other layer. And finally, to uh, refine the uh, context when, predict when making predictions and also um, 
to give a time constraint on the predictions, we have added a self-attention layer on top of our neural network. We have chosen the maximum, inform maximum mutual information criteria as our objective function, which aims to maximize the shared information between reference and the target sequence. With this system, we were able to achieve 33% relative uh, word error rate improvement compared to the previous best system in monophonic lyrics transcription. Here is one um, output example of our system. So the green horizontal bars is the phoneme segments. And the vertical uh, white lines indicate the word segments. And I also added the blue pitch, uh, I added the pitch curves, uh, which you can see uh, uh, as the discrete blue curves to emphasize that even in the uh, drastic pitch changes, um, the uh, phoneme and word segmentation uh, is able to um, get good performance. One major challenge in lyrics transcription is the pronunciation differences when people utter words in singing. To be able to understand these pronunciation differences, we recently uh, conducted a computational analysis on the pronunciation variances, variances during singing. One of the first observations that we uh, had is that vowels are pronounced longer during uh, singing. Further, <clears throat> we have, um, conduct, we have um, applied a comparative confusion analysis based on phoneme types. And we have seen that um, people change, uh, interchange phonemes when they are uttering words during singing. Especially, this uh, happens especially during uh, vowels, but also we see that um, singers tend to omit plosives. Sounds like B, D, G, uh, P, K, T. We also see that they change uh, fricatives with each other. Further, <clears throat> sorry. Um, further, we see that the temporal evolution of pitch curves may change from performance to performance or from singer to singer. For instance, in, in the picture on the right, we see a more oscillating curve in music information retrieval you would call this pattern more like a vibrato-like pattern. Whereas on the left-hand side, it's a more stable pitch curve, even though both performances aim to sing the same words and the same melody. These aspects of uh, pitch curves obviously has an effect um, on how words are pronounced and also the lyrics transcription system. When attempting to recognize and transcribe words from singing using a speech-based pronunciation model, we may end up funny errors, as you can see in the red box in the slide. For this reason, we need to be careful and we need to uh, consider the domain-specific properties of singing. So let's do a recap. Um, I'd, like to, I'd like you to have uh, these take-home messages from this talk. What we have learned is lyrics transcription is the process of recognizing words and phonemes from singing voice signals. Traditional automatic speech recognition systems have three major components, the acoustic, the language, and the pronunciation models. And finally, to achieve a better lyrics transcription system, speech recognition systems need to be adapted by means of all of these components. Especially, we need to consider the temporal evolution of pitch and the phonetic content, contents. I'm, I'm Emir Demirel, and you can reach my work through this GitHub link you can see, or you can directly email me. And thanks for your attention.